Can I tell you guys about these balloons before? They represent the four seasons and planet Earth. Please lower your head and watch. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, and the often surprising nature of living with the land. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. While this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. In farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. Welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests, now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. And waterways, all parts of this plant even the flower petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields, while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. choice. What do I want? Soup and salad, the grill, sandwiches. Right, so what have we got over here? Chicken breast, a power salad, Asian noodle salad, Caesar salad with oat fried chicken. I might get that. Oh, Asian noodles. That's what I'm getting. Wow. 
So this is their Mongolian beef with rice, which is delicious. It's quite expensive. It was $13.50. Uh, oh no, it was more than that. I know oh it was. It was the Coke that was $4 that I actually threw it off. And I found it, David. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish this. All gone. It was a little bit of a fiery chili kick to it. Nothing massive, but it was nice. I'm just fussy. I don't eat those bits. We got a fast pass for this. I want to see if my magic band does anything funky. My figment band. Oh, that was upsetting. I thought it might do something. To our special drive-through open house, I've got an idea. Chen is this? Chen of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, cookie cookie go, and taste. <laughs> taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No. What? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello! Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere! But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination! <laughs> For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things. From just a sound, I'm videoing. <laughs> My Mary Melva. Ooh. It smells like chicken. Brazos, pies y piernas, tengo un banco. Y cuida de su vida. 
y amigos, no matter where he goes, the one, two, and three goes, we are always together. What a nice day. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to open then. But it's warm in here as well. It smells of sticky floor. Oh yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Fifty-five. I suppose it's the busiest part of the day, isn't it? Hello, welcome to Sora. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We're we'll getting boring in a few minutes, but first, I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course. These little <laughs> small radiators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat. Just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling it. That's worth it, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. I am flying solo again. Oh, Pluto! Um, David's actually just left to go to the airport, pardon me, um, so I came I wanted to do Spaceship Perth and get some pictures out the front because I never get pictures with Spaceship Perth in the daylight. Um, <clears throat> and then once I've done this, I am going to hit World Showcase. There's a line for Spaceship Earth. it's like a 10 minute line so I've got to fast pass for 10 minutes time. So I'm going to get my picture taken. <laughs> that was definitely a good idea because she took loads of pictures, different angles, and she did a magic shot, which I think is the figment magic shot, which I've never had before, so that's quite cool. Just gonna pop in this gift shop, and hopefully not buy stuff. I'm not going in the art shop, so we're going in the art shop. Um, I might see if I've got celebrated badges. I feel like I need a badge. Oh, that wind is cold. There's so much figment stuff I want to... Oh. I really might get that t-shirt. Ah, that's clever. <laughs> okay, let's go do this fast pass. Look, the line's gone now anyway, but never mind. Thank you. See, I could have stood in that 10 minute line, but I didn't. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our plan is to sail through the universe of time. Since the dawn of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. But the Phoenicians, who 
trade with all of them have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thanks, guys. They build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first worldwide web, and it's leading us into the future. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books. community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Feeling your future, it'll be more fun than ever to enjoy nature in the great outdoors. Oh. Your entire medical history is with you at all times on a smart card. While you relax at home with hot chocolate, technology speeds recovery time.